I mean, this uh, beautiful town of uh, Sesso, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Uh, they are in the main building in town. It's a Polish flag next to Ukrainian flag. Obviously, the people of Poland, like all the people of the world, are are Ukrainians right now. And as you see, it's uh, it's some snow coming as we speak. The temperatures are really freezing. And I'm gonna go in the comfort of my hotel. Like many of us, we're gonna be in the comfort of our homes. And it's hard to know that. Even in this moment, there are mainly women because the men are staying behind uh, with children walking for hours uh, uh, out of Ukraine to safety to different countries. And again, it's freezing cold and every, every country is welcoming them and, and everybody is trying to, in the initial hours, days, uh, is doing their best, feeding, providing blankets, providing place to to live temporarily uh, but again uh, it's hard to know that these are still people walking somewhere in the streets or spending the night in a, in a car with no gas with no way to heat themselves and as I was uh, in Medica uh, right in the border I could touch uh, use Ukraine uh, you see young men uh, even we were able to see an American young boy that uh, I didn't even ask for his name. Uh, late at night, almost at 1 a.m., going back, trying to join the defense forces in Ukraine. They say we'll go back to Kiev. Uh, why do we put young men? A woman in this situation, we didn't learn enough from the horrors of the past. People, we need to speak up against leaders that are breaking us apart. We cannot let more Putins of the world. We cannot be just playing, playing life like it's monopoly. Life is not a monopoly game. Life is real, and we're. The voiceless and the poor are the ones always paying the consequences. We need to stop giving the speeches and clapping and claiming that we are doing the best we can. And we need to start being smarter because we are making it so difficult for so many unnecessarily. So anyway. Uh, before I go to bed, I only wanted to share this. Again, pray for the people of Ukraine. We know that there's no war that is justified ever, even we know maybe some wars who were justified for, for fighting freedom. But these wars were for war for the sake of bullshit pride. Anybody that ever thought about saying that Putin was a good leader, should be ashamed. Anybody supporting people that said that Putin was a good leader, they should be more than ashamed. This is the people that think that life is a monopoly.